Hey guys, it's Vince, and I'm on the workbench, and I'm knocking out a DS flexion spindle cable. I've got a lot of questions about this. This is the way a connector is supposed to look. When once again we're using the proper solder and flux, you can see what we have here. We've got just a little over a quarter of an inch of spacing. You can see our conductors of how everything is placed. And again, you see no exposed leads at all from the casing. Okay, when we rotate the cable, the pockets are perfect. You can see there's no bleed through. Everything there is set. Now, I got asked a very good question about, well, I never see you close up the cable. Well, you're going to see me close up the cable right now. And this is using double wall heat shrink. Now, if you get good at this, and I mean really good, you'll find that you can cut the heat shrink perfectly to where this will meet up with the cable and that will give you the finishing touch, so to speak. Now again, working with double wall heat shrink is uh, a little bit of practice because again, you wanna get it shrink to the proper percentage so that you'll get the effect you want. You can see how I'm going through the HY connector as far as uh, the actual back cup. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in with the precision heat gun and I'm just gonna hit this once it reaches temperature. I'm gonna start shrinking it from the bottom and you'll see it start creeping in and there we go now we'll start creeping in now we do have the activated uh, adhesive so as I do this we're going to be pushing up to give us the proper effect that we're looking for fingerprints and all that will come out as soon as we heat the unit and we just keep moving very slightly as we as we heat working it little by little. And patience is a virtue here. Do not use a ham fist uh, for my guys out there in aviation. You want a nice soft touch. And again, some guys ask me, you know, why, why does the cable cost so much? How come you charge so much for labor? Because I'm not afraid to show you under the hood. I'm going to show you the way a cable should be done, I would expect it done, at a professional level, with the UL rating in terms of the cable being used, and it's double shielded. And what you see here is that base is totally sealed. Now what I'm going to do is switch over to a high heat gun. You can see we're just about there now. Four hundred and fifty degrees on this. Give me the proper shrink ratio. You'll see, once you get this nice and hot, that's what you're left with right there. That is hot. But you can see that seal goes all the way across the cable. And that's what you're paying for. Because, guys, you can't measure this. This is practice. Hours, years of practice. Thousands of cables. That's how you do that. That's what everybody expects. That's usually what you don't see on YouTube because this takes years of practice. And when I say that, I'm not doing this in a quick assembly. These cables, even just doing this end, typically takes me, oh, 50 minutes or so to do, which guys say, wow, that's fast after how many years? <laughs> and I still screw up. I'm not perfect all the time, but you can see here what this cable is supposed to look like. We've got our bead of adhesive around here. So again, it seals the cable and you can see the edge of the cable is absolutely perfect. Your seating is perfect. And that's the way she looks. Then of course, when we uh, screw on the actual casing of the spindle connector, you're all set. The final touches, of course, are deoxic gold. Every cable that leaves my shop is hit with deoxic gold. As a matter of fact, every system that leaves my shop is treated with deoxic gold. And like I said to many of you, when you're comparing apples to apples, make sure you find all the details. Because anybody who's been in the electronics industry who hasn't heard of deoxit, there you go, you can see exactly what you have here. And deoxit just amplifies your conductivity, and again, it keeps everything perfect for years to come. So we're all set here. 
if I screw on the back, just to show you, because these are good, very good questions, you can see we're going to put our coupler over. That's going to be the joiner to the spindle unit. And then we're going to come over here. And again, we're just going to come in here and like magic, Now the secret here is that you don't want to over tighten this. You want to center your cable. That's the whole goal here. You have a set screw that you'll use to center your cable. And once it's centered properly, you're all set. So I just tweak it ever so gently, and there's your cable. And you can see exactly, I'm sure I'm centered. There we go. You can come over here and you can see exactly what you have. Now we just come up with heat shrink, double wall, small piece to increase our actual width of the cable so that we make a proper seat for our actual cable uh, strain and then we go over it again with another piece of double wall to make this a more rigid piece and you have a perfect cable. So again guys um, I hope that this video has helped and why I say that is I get questions all the time are you really doing the work is this really yeah there's a lot of hours here and of course Kester 186 RMA Flux Caster number 44 solder, very, very simple. Um, tools are very simple, but the practice isn't. So that's really what you're looking at. And unfortunately, I still get guys that'll message me and say they destroyed their spindle connector because they don't want to pay to have it done. If you're not going to pay me, you're going to pay someone. I just hope that they're going to do it the proper way. Make sure it matches what it should. Don't be afraid to ask, hey, can I see it under the hood? That's a very good question. I want to see your work. Do you have any pictures of your work? Because work doesn't lie. It's like a contractor. Look at it from that perspective. Make sure you understand what you're purchasing. And again, if you have any questions, uh, require consultations or quotes, you can message me direct at storm2313 at gmail.com. You can also message me through my eDealer Direct store on eBay. You'll see links in the beginning of the video and at the end. Thank you all for your support. Take care.